fed up with charts let me just show you some interesting ways to make the chart more uh, creative and more uh, appealing so let me just show you how i did when i click you can see here this is my first option i have just put the option one and the icon with the shadow effect you can see here i have created uh, this uh, 3d cylinder shape which is i have put like 32 percent with the same icon i have put here then you can add your title and the detailed text and on my next click it will come the second option which is 11 percent then comes the third option with a green color which is the biggest one the 36 percent and the remaining the fourth one which is 21 percent and you can add the title and detailed text so you can see here how well we can convert the boring uh, simple uh, charts to something like this all right so i have created one more slide where i have just put instead of the oval shape i have just put the rectangle so depending on the requirement whichever way you feel you can just simply add it or edit it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert either you can insert a square or you can insert a oval shape so let me just insert the rectangle here or the square i'm going to just hold the shift key so that i get a perfect uh, square here all right so depending on my requirement i can increase or decrease the size or what i can do is instead of doing that one i can just add only one side only this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline then depending on your requirement you can just change the color whichever color you want now press ctrl d to duplicate bring it to the other side and here i'm just going to change the color to some other color press ctrl d add it at the bottom and here maybe i'm going to use some green color and then press ctrl d i'm going to use uh, some other color here something like this all right so you can see here i've added four uh, squares all right or you can add some oval shapes also now the next thing is we need to add the 3d bars for that i need to go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect oval shape something like this you can see here maybe i want to make somewhat bigger here and then i'm just going to bring it to this side shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use the same color or you can use a different color also now to give a 3d look right mouse click on this go to format shape and go to the effects you can see here there's something called a 3d rotation so select the 3d rot rotation from the preset i'm going to choose you can see here maybe i can just choose this one which is perspective right all right and then you don't see anything here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to 3d format and here the the depth maybe i'm going to give 200 can you see here or i can give it 300 so depending on my requirement so now what i need to do here now it doesn't look good all right so what i need to do here is again go back to the 3d rotation you have got a different rotation can you see here x rotation y z and perspective so depending on your requirement you can just see here i can just bring it something like this okay and then here the z rotation also it looks something like this and the perspective i'm just going to reduce the size all right you can see here so that at the bottom it will be more narrow and then again here i can just move this inside or outside you can see here so again if you want more narrow you can just make it something like this or i can just bring it here if the width is not sufficient you can just go to the depth and then you can just make it maybe 500 you can see here something like this so this is my first uh, 3d rectangle now for me it's very easy what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this I'm going to bring it here increase the size you can see here 
and for this let me just change the color to the same color blue color or any other color also you can choose and for this now this one has to move to the other side all right so again go back here and you can see here again you have got different rotation can you see it it comes here and then i can just bring it this side all right or again depending on your the z rotation or z rotation whichever way you want to place it you can just make it something like this you can see here all right and then if you want to just change if you want you don't want the dark background then you can just comes to this uh, lighting and material and you can just change whatever you want you can see here i can just make it more lighter all right so it is not completely visible it is more darker so depending on your requirement you can just choose whichever way you want so now let me just add one more for the green press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change the color to a lighter green color hold the shift key and i'm going to increase the size you can see here and then as usual you have to go to the effects and again here you have to go to 3d rotation and then start rotating you can see here and then you can see here i'm just moving up all right and again perspective if you want how you want so whichever way you can see here something like this and then the the depth is uh, somewhat uh, small for me so i'm going to the 3d format and i'm going to increase the depth from 500 maybe 900 all right so you can see here this is the one or if you want to look more bigger again you have to bring the other side and then you have to just go down and then you can see here you can just increase it you can see here so you have to just play with this till you get the perfect uh, this one all right and this one also you can just see you can see here something like this all right so this is my fourth sorry third one and then control d to duplicate i'm going to make it somewhat smaller and the color i'm going to just change it to some lighter color here you can see the pink color and again i'm just going to move this side and just move it here and put it so with this we have completed the basic design now what we need to do is we need to add some shadow effect to look more uh, natural so before adding some shadow effect what i would like to do is i would like to add the the options here or the numbers for that go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 or you can make it a b c d whatever center align make it bold increase the size and put it here and this one i'm just going to make it a white font if you want you can increase further the size press ctrl d to duplicate the add, add the other side make it two and then i'm just going to select both of this press ctrl d and bring the other side and make sure that it is properly aligned you can see here this also you have to just make sure that it is aligned so then this is the third one and this is the fourth one and if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can just add some icons to it so let me just go to insert icons and some randomly i'm just going to select few icons or the four icons all right and then let me just move the other side height and width i'm going to make it 0.4 a smaller one and then I'm just going to bring it one here, the other one here, one more here, and the other one. Now let me just select all these four by holding the shift key and then graphic fill, I'm going to fill this with white. Now if you are going to do the animation, I recommend you to just group the objects. So I'm just going to select this, hold the shift key, and these things you can see here, let me just group it press ctrl g you can see here again this one this sorry this this and this i'm just going to group it and this also i'm just going to group it 
all right now i'm going to select all of this go to format and send this to back so to add the shadow effect what i can do i can go to insert shapes from the lines i can just select the freeform shape we can see here i'm just going to make it something like this and then just attach it you can see a shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill here i'm going to use two stops the first stop i have selected the black color and the second one i have selected the white and make it fully transparent for this and even for this also you have to just make it somewhat transparent and then go to the effects and soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and then just select this and bring this to front all right so let me just select this press ctrl d i want to add it one here ctrl d and i would like to add one here and again this one and this one bring to front all right so something like this you can make it some shadow effect the next thing is uh, you can just add the percentages here okay so for example let me just go to insert or i can just select this also Control c click outside Control v and then i'm just going to bring it here increase the size and i'm just saying that okay this could be like 30 percent all right Control d this could be or 35 percent so almost like 65 percent we have completed Control d i'm saying that this could be like 20 percent all right so 30 50 60 70 85 percent and then the other one would be a uh, 15 percent all right so it uh, it comes to 100 percent i believe all right then what happens here is if you want the same icons also you can just add the same icons here whatever the icons which i have used here i can just copy and paste it here or if you want you can just put some other information also now uh, once we have completed this one it's time to add some detail information so to add the details i'm just going to add one oval shape or any other shape which you prefer you can use it so let me just select the oval shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect oval shape shape outline make it gray color and shape fill make it no fill and then you can just go to insert text box you can just add the title here make it center align make it bold reduce the font size and put it here exactly in the center and then you can go to insert text box you can add detail text here again this one also center align reduce the font size and i'm just going to put it in the center something like this all right and then if you want you can just select all of these three things and press ctrl g to group it and here i'm just going to connect this one with a uh, connector so go to shapes you can see here uh, lines i can just use this connector elbow and i can just from this end to this end or from this to this whichever way you feel better you can just add it something like this and shape outline also i'm going to give the same color so press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add it one here again this also duplicate and maybe from this i would like to connect to this something like this or you can just connect it inside and then send this to back whichever way you feel better again press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add it here and this also ctrl d you can see here i'm just selecting this to this all right and then this is the last one again duplicate this and again duplicate this also connect at the bottom or whichever position which you prefer i'm just adding this one something like this so you can see here uh, with this i uh, completed the design and if you want some basic animation like i have just used some basic animations to do this you can just go to the animation animation pane 
you can see here i've just used some uh, stretch this is the wipe this is the for the shadow i've used the fade and for this also i've used the wipe animation effect so simple animation effect you can just simply add it to this